Hi, welcome to your third ARCHICAD video tutorial for beginners. These are all the elements that were left off in the previous video and I'm going to actually delete them all. So I'm gonna hold down the shift key, do one click, and then the second click over here, and I'm gonna hit delete. In this video I'm going to be talking about how the eyedropper and inject to work in ARCHICAD. So if we go up here in the toolbar, uh, I forgot to mention in the previous video uh, the find and select option if you want to activate it without clicking Ctrl and F you have this little icon here. But right next to it you have the pickup parameters icon and the inject parameters. So let me demonstrate how these work. Let's select our fill tool once again. Let's select this second geometry method which is rectangular just to switch it up a bit and then let's draw a rectangular fill. As you can see this is the 25% pattern with the 95 uh, pen and in the foreground just a different pen. doesn't really matter that much right now. So let's draw another one right over here. Once we've drew the second one let's select it by holding down shift and clicking on it. And over here I'm gonna change the color of this to be green. Okay, so if I would like to collect the parameters of this element, all I have to do is either click over here and then click on the fill. This way you can see the uh, settings for the fill tool have changed and picked up the parameters of this one. And if I would like to inject these parameters into this other fill, all I need to do is click here on the inject parameters and then click over on this fill. Okay, so let's change the color of this fill again. Doesn't really matter what color. Uh, an easier way of doing this without always going up here to these little icons is by uh, holding down your Alt key. This activates the eyedropper tool. So Alt key and click to pick up the parameters of an element and then to inject them the shortcut is Ctrl and Alt and then click on a different element. Okay so next I'm going to demonstrate how the eyedropper and inject tool work on 3D elements. So let's select our wall tool, let's draw a simple wall over here. I'm going to select it and click F5 and this is going to take me in a 3D view and it's going to display the selected element. So this is our wall in 3D view. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my window tool and I'm just going to add a window to this wall. But first let's open the settings dialog so we can see what window we want to use. Let's just select one of these other ones. Let's select a double sash window over here. I'm going to click OK. OK, what I'm going to do next is actually I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see better. And next I'm going to uh, do one click on the wall. And then the next one over here to the right. I'm going to do the same thing over here again. I'm just going to click and then another click over here on the outside. What I'm going to do next is select this second window. I'm going to open the settings dialog and actually I'm going to change it. So I'm going to change it into a triple window. I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see now we have a triple window. So if we want to pick up the parameters of this window we're just going to hold down the Alt key again and click. And if we want to inject these parameters into this window, we can just hold down Ctrl and Alt and then click again. And as you can see, the parameters were picked up and injected into the, the other element. So this is how we use the eyedropper and um, inject tool even on 3D elements. You can do this also in the 2D view but I wanted to show it in 3D so that you can actually see the change a little bit better. So this is basically what I wanted to show in this video, uh, the usefulness of the eyedropper and inject tool. 
Okay, now that we are done in our 3D view, I'm going to go back to our ground floor by double clicking over here on the right on under stories ground floor. This was just a really short video uh, explaining the usefulness of the eyedropper and the inject parameters tool. I believe that for beginners it is very useful to know about these two options from the very beginning of their um, experience with ARCHICAD because it can really improve their speed. Okay, I hope this video was useful and I will see you in the next one. Bye!